Let's analyze the static stability of an aircraft by its individual components. Here we would break down the aircraft into its main components and we take a look at the contribution of this individual component to the aircraft's longitudinal static stability. Uh, the main component that makes an aircraft are the wing, the tail, uh, some aircraft would have canard, which is a forward wing, um, the fuselage, and the engine that's normally mounted underneath the wing. What we want to do here is to show the relationship between the longitudinal stability derivative um, and the characteristics, uh, geometric and aerodynamic characteristics of the airplane, which we can get from the uh, wing component, tail component, and also from the fuselage and engine. The stability derivative that we want uh, to compute in this case is the CM alpha or the slope of the uh, CM versus alpha curve, um, which is the, der the derivative of the pitching moment coefficient CM with respect to the angle of attack alpha. Or if you take a look at uh, the graph of CM alpha curve, we want to find this slope or the gradient of this graph. We have discussed last time that the condition for longitudinal static stability is that CM alpha must be less than zero and CM naught must be greater than zero. We can also look at the CM versus CL curve and the condition for static stability is that uh, CM, the derivative of CM over CL is less than zero. So essentially what we want to do here is to compute um, this straight line equation. We will try to compute CM alpha and CM naught and check our values with the longitudinal static stability condition. Let's analyze the wing's contribution towards aircraft longitudinal static stability. Does the wing help make the aircraft stable or does it make the aircraft unstable? You can explain it by using your knowledge on aircraft aerodynamics, think about where the effective lift would be located at on the wing. Uh, we call this the aerodynamic center. That's where the lift would be at. And think about where the center of gravity of the aircraft would be located at. Um, normally, it's somewhere around here behind the aerodynamic center. Um, if the angle of attack of the aircraft is increased, uh, so the lift would increase and this would then result in a positive would, would this result in a positive pitching or negative pitching? Here we will analyze and explain the wings contribution towards the aircraft longitudinal static stability mathematically. So remember our parameter of interest is uh, CM alpha. So we want to compute the wings pitching moment coefficient CM. Um, we first identify all forces and moments acting on the wing. Um, this includes the lift force and the drag force. Um, and then we would compute the sum of all moments about the center of gravity. And that's how we get an equation for our pitching moment coefficient. Here is the breakdown on how the sum of pitching moment about the center of gravity is computed. We take all the forces from the lift and also all the forces from drag. Um, they are acting at the aerodynamic center. And not to forget, there's also a moment um, at the aerodynamic center. So we sum up all the moment together until we get this equation. When we get our pitching moment equation, we want to redefine it as pitching moment coefficient, CM, instead rather than the actual moment, M. Um, pitching moment coefficient is a dimensionless value, um, so it's easier to work with. So we can make our moment equation dimensionless by just dividing the whole term um, by one half rho v squared s c bar. C bar is the mean aerodynamic chord of the wing. 
Um, after a bit of simplification by taking small angle assumption um, and also assume that the lift generated by the wing is much, much greater than the drag, we get this equation. Simplified equation of our pitching moment coefficient. Now let's analyze this equation even further. Um, you would notice that there's a lift coefficient term CL in this equation. We can expand um, the lift coefficient equation by using a linear straight line equation like this, and it is a function of alpha, the angle of attack. Um, if we plug in CL term back into our CM equation, so now we have the equation of CM as a function of alpha. So let's check this equation with our longitudinal static stability condition. First, let's, um, let's take a look at CM0, which is the equation of CM when angle of attack alpha equals to 0. So we set alpha equals to 0, then we get this equation. So does this equation implies that CM0 is greater than 0 or less than 0? And remember, the, the condition is that we want CM0 to be greater than 0 for static stability. Um, so let's check this term by term. Uh, CM is positive in general. CL, the lift uh, coefficient, is also positive in general. Um, how about this term? Is it positive or negative? So um, you know that this XCG is the dimensionless length um, of the center of gravity location from the leading edge of the wing, and XAC is the length of the leading edge. Um, length from the leading edge of the wing to the uh, wing's aerodynamic center. And let's take a look at our aircraft diagram again, where we see that aerodynamic center of the wing is somewhere here on the wing, and the center of gravity of uh, the aircraft is somewhere here behind the wing. Um, so this is how a typical aircraft would look like. So normally the aerodynamic center of the wing is at the front of the center of gravity like this. So from here, we know that um, uh, XCG minus XAC would be a positive term because the center of gravity is behind the aerodynamic center. So we have a positive CM0 and that satisfies uh, the first condition for static stability. Now let's take a look at the second condition which is CM alpha. We would take the derivative of this equation with respect to alpha and we get this equation. Is this equation positive or negative? Um, and remember, the condition for static stability is that we want CM alpha to be less than zero. Um, to get this, we must imply that the aerodynamic center must be behind the center of gravity. Um, okay. Uh, well, but as we have discussed before, we know that for a conventional airplane, the center of gravity is located aft of the aerodynamic center, meaning the center of gravity is behind the aerodynamic center. So this makes this term, CM alpha term, positive. So the wing's contribution, we can conclude that the wing's contribution towards the aircraft's longitudinal static stability is destabilizing. Now let's take a look at the aircraft's tail contribution towards the longitudinal static stability. Does the tail make the aircraft stable or unstable? To find out, we take the same approach as before. We identify the lift equation. Um, and the drag, we identify the lift force and the drag force um, on the tail, and we take the sum of all moments about the aircraft's center of gravity. Now, when we have the moment equation, we would convert it into a moment coefficient, which is a dimensionless quantity. Um, and here we define uh, two new things from the equation, which is first the tail efficiency, eta, 
and the horizontal tail volume ratio, VH. From design perspective, uh, we could use this parameter to appropriately size our horizontal tail to achieve the desired stability. Um, it's worth note to note that uh, the angle of attack as seen by the tail is not the same as the angle of attack of the wing. The tail's angle of attack is affected by the wing's angle of attack, the incidence angle of the wing uh, and the tail, and the downwash angle from the wing. The downwash is the deflection of an airstream by the aircraft's wing, and the tail is subjected to this strong downwash flow. Uh, we can approximate the downwash angle using this linear equation. The pitching moment coefficient equation that has been derived is shown here. It is a function of the tail efficiency, the horizontal tail volume ratio. Uh, it is also a function of the lift coefficient uh, and the angle of attack um, of the tail and the wing, um, as well as the downwash angle. We can rewrite uh, these terms in a linear equation that looks like this. Uh, if we evaluate these, this CM equation at alpha equals to zero, we get this equation for CM naught. And if we take the derivative of this equation with respect to alpha, we get this equation for CM alpha. Now let's analyze these equations. Do they satisfy our stability condition? Let's take a look at CM0. In general, all these terms here, they are positive. So, CM0 is positive, and that satisfies the first equation. Uh, in addition, we can actually adjust uh, the tail incidence angle, uh, I sub t, to make this term positive definite. We can mount the tail at negative incidence angle to make the whole term positive. Uh, let's now take a look at CM alpha. There's a negative sign here, and the rest of these terms, they are all, in general, positive. Therefore, the CM alpha contribution from the tail is less than zero, and that satisfies the second condition for static stability. So we can conclude that the horizontal tail contributes towards positive longitudinal static stability. Let's take a look at... Um, this slide again where we see um, in a typical aircraft the lift of the wing is acting at the aerodynamic center which is in front of the center of gravity and this causes a destabilizing motion however this instability is counteracted by the moment produced by the lift of the horizontal tail that is acting behind the center of gravity so the tail helps stabilize the aircraft thus an aircraft without the tail would never be able to fly. Um, this is why the horizontal tail is also commonly called as the horizontal stabilizer. Now let's quickly just take a look at the contributions by uh, the other components of the aircraft, which are the canard and the fuselage and other things. Um, canard is a forward wing or a, uh, a tail that is located at the front of the wing and a canard helps produces additional lift force. By the same reasoning as the wings, the canard produces stabilizing motion for the aircraft because the moment arm, um, moment from the lift on the canard is acting forward of the center of gravity. Now the fuselage contribution to the pitching moment coefficient can be computed by dividing the fuselage into sections and compute the um, CM from each section. The textbook has um, all the details for this computation. But in general, the fuselage contributes toward, um, uh, the fuselage contribution towards longitudinal static stability is destabilizing. So this graph summarizes the individual components of an aircraft towards its longitudinal static stability. Um, we can see that the wing and the fuselage 
is destabilizing with positive CM alpha. But the tail has a very negative slope of CM alpha. Therefore, the CM alpha of the whole airplane is also negative. So that's the graph for the, the full CM alpha of the airplane. So overall, the airplane is statically stable in longitudinal motion.